Hey Globe Mad Geeks, welcome to the Rainbow Mountains of China. This is a very beautiful place. I just want to talk to you a little bit about colour. Chemistry is a colourful subject and that's one of the reasons I love it. And this is a fantastic place to think about colour. You can see these colourful bands in the rocks. These are due to different minerals which have been deposited over the years and formed these bands of colour. Now why are things coloured? In chemistry, colour is due to a number of different things. But very often we're in a place like this, we're interested in inorganic colour, which is usually to do with transition metals. And one of the characteristic properties of transition metals is they form colourful compounds. Why? Because they have a partially filled D subshell of electrons. And when the atom or the ion bonds in the compound, that partially filled D subshell of electrons splits into two energy levels, a higher energy level and a lower energy level. Now, because it's only partially filled, that means electrons can jump from the lower level to the higher energy level. But to do that, they need to get energy. Well, where do they get that energy from? In transition metals, that energy comes from the energy of visible light. Certain colours or frequencies of visible light have enough energy to cause electrons to jump from the lower to the higher energy level. That light is then absorbed, and what we see is a reflected light which gives the characteristic colour that we can see in these rocks today. Beautiful. Science rocks.